the world is as beautiful, peaceful, and healthy just as the people who inhabit it are. Our environment is a true reflection of what is in our hearts. If it is filthy, our hearts are filthy. If it is peaceful, our hearts are peaceful. If it is healthy, our hearts are healthy. Look at this stream. Look at how filthy its water is. Its water was meant to give life, to support life. But look at it now. Instead, it has as little as an atomic bomb to the people who live in this surrounding. But come to think of it, this is as a result of the people living along it, dumping their waste into this river, changing its purpose as it was designed to. Why? Because are we can deduce and say they are careless. They are insensitive. They are not law abiding. They have no future dream of the children whom we are bringing up. Because if they had, they would not do such a thing. This justifies my conclusion that our environment is a true reflection of what we actually are. No doubt about it. No question about it. And the way our hearts are is reflected in our daily activity, our daily action, our attitude towards issues, our attitude towards other people. And that can all be seen by just looking at our environment. It is actually the responsibility of you and I to make our environment habitable, palatable, and suitable for our health living. It is a worldwide concern. Leaders have gathered, great countries have gathered, and there's a worry, worry, a great, great, great worry among the inhabitants of the world. We are told that very soon we are about to get two degrees, and the result have started manifesting. Islands are fading. Floods are everywhere. Drought, fires, and this is all due to our negligence to attending and taking care of our environment. But why is it so? Where are our leaders when this is all happening? Where are our leaders who are supposed to tell us, to guide us towards the direction of changing the world to what it was envisaged to, to be? I'm sure you know where they are. They are very busy. Very busy indeed. Busy doing what? Fighting each other. Insulting each other in front of the children. Talking about things that are obscene instead of concentrating on the things that could preserve our environment, that can preserve our future, that can preserve our heritage. What are we left to render to God? What are we left with?
to bequeath to our children. We may amass all the wealth as we are fighting for it. We may get as much gold as we can afford. We may build skyscrapers that reach the sky. We may have very many fields. We may have very many enterprises and lucrative businesses. But with the world not at peace, we shall not be at peace. Without knowing that the future of our life depends on the children who are now burning schools as we watch, who are practicing immoral practices like sodomy in schools, drug abuse, substance abuse, disrespect to order, and yet we say we are having something, we are having a dialogue to make our the future of our children. No, I disagree. And this is a matter of choices. If there are our choices, difficult choices that we have to make, whether we are going for the sophisticated life we think we are, or for the simple natural life that we have. My plea to you, my leaders, my plea to who are being led is just simple. Let us not get food on the table. Call the children. Call neighbors for a banquet on a house that's collapsing. Let us make the house. Let us make our character. Let us make our attitude. Let us mend our hearts so that there'll be love. And this love will depict in our environment. You will not do something that can affect your neighbor. You will not do something that can affect your brother. And in so doing, life will be there to be enjoyed by all. But when we make choices to go after gold, to go after money, to go after wealth, and forget that the world is collapsing due to climate change, that our morals are ruined, we have no future. Preparing the bucket, building those skyscrapers, building mansions is all a waste of time. And I repeat, a waste of time, a waste of precious time. Let us build the people who are to live in this world because the primary duty of man is to take care of the environment as was told in the Bible. Adam was instructed to take care of the garden of Eden. He was not told to fight. He was not told to insult. He was, not, he was not taught to amass, he was taught to take care of environment. Dear brothers and sisters, join me in this book. If you have heard me, tell your neighbor. It is all starts with you. You are the cause of change. You are that leader whom you have been dreaming. Action starts with I. Let's be responsible. Let us know that this world was given to us as a heritage but our forefathers. The morals are our heritage. If we don't do that, what are we giving back to God?